Welcome back. My name is Steve with LRM Leasing. Today I want to talk about the crankcase filter. Uh, you guys probably see where oil is dripping on the ground on the passenger side, usually on some electrical cords or even on the spring of the suspension. And everybody freaks out and says, oh my goodness, it's a motor. And it's just a crankcase filter. People forget about them. It does need to be constantly changed, you know, at least yearly. That's what I would recommend. So today what I want to do is show you guys how to remove the filter and to install it, you're going to need some tools. There's going to be some little uh, haggling between the frame and the motor. So that's always the fun part, but this will save you guys some money. The part is a little expensive, but you can make it up on the back end by doing it yourself and not getting charged for the labor. So that's going to be the great part. All right, guys. So right now we're going to go over some steps when it comes to replacing the crankcase filter. First thing I want to start with is that once you purchase your crankcase filter, which it will look like so, and it comes in a box. Now here's the thing it doesn't come with, a gasket, and it's gonna be metal. You're gonna have to purchase that separately, and it will look like this. So once you have your crankcase filter and your gasket, you're gonna have these together. Now, another important thing when you purchase these, especially when you get it from the OEM, don't throw this away, there's a core charge. You'll get some of your money back, so don't throw it away. Just make sure you place everything in a nice, neatly order, but remember, gasket, it does not come with the crankcase filter. So now what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a ratchet, all right? I would love to say you can get your half inch uh, impact gun in there, you really can't because we would have a frame right here. So get a uh, three eight ratchet with a, uh, I'm looking at it right now, a 16 millimeter socket, all right? And then you're also gonna need a T27 and that's to remove the sensor off the old one so we can put it on the new crankcase filter. So the first thing you really need to do is have a can of brake clean and you should have a rag, which I know I laid around here somewhere. Ha, found it. So what I would wanna do is I would wanna clean around the areas just like so, get that nice and clean. You'll see a lot of the dirt running off and do the same thing on the back side of the crankcase filter. Do it on both sides. Right. Once you get that somewhat clean, the next thing you're going to do is this, this tube, right? If you look here, all you got to do is pinch, no tool. Once you pinch it and then pull, then it's free from the block. That easy. The next thing you do, it's going to be, so we're going to think that's a frame. You're going to lay underneath, put the tool underneath and then break all these free. There are a total of four bolts. And all you're doing is just breaking those free. When you get them free, they should come off by hand. Very simple. We're actually gonna literally do this from start to finish because I did not have this prepped and ready. This is always the fun part. You may need to support it a little bit to get the last bolt out. All right, now I'm pulling it straight off. You, once you guys get the bolts removed, you guys are gonna have to wiggle it down past the frame. There's gonna be some wires here that go to the starter. You may have to remove them or push them in and then you're gonna finagle it down. And once it's down, this is what it looks like. And then you'll go back to the brake clean, and this is where the rag comes into place. You're gonna clean the areas. And just have it nice and clean. Nice, clean surface is what you're looking for. Once you get it all nice and clean, we'll have our new filter, which is right here. And then you have your gasket. What I normally do is I'll put it up just like says, like so. Get one bolt, get it through the gasket, and then another one on the opposite side. So it looks like so. And then once you get it back in place, start a, just start the bolt, and then start the next one, and she should hold up on her own. Once you do that, start getting the other two bolts in place. And then the big thing is, do not force it. It should go on smooth. If you have to use a socket and ram, start putting it on forcefully, the problem that you're gonna have is you're gonna cross thread it. It should go on smooth. If it came off finger tight, you need to put it on finger tight. And then once you get it all up, then we're gonna tighten it down with the ratchet. All right, so now once you have this completely snugged up to the block, just make sure, just give it a little, little tug if you have no play. Then I would get the ratchet and just do a quarter turn to tighten it. You don't need to make it hard or really tight as possible. You don't have to do all that. Just enough 
where it just stays nice and snug up against the block. Plastic hose that I took off, it's easy. All you gotta do is just push it in. You'll hear a snap. That part's done. We're almost there, guys. The last part I told you, we gotta take the sensor off. T27, once it pops free, just like that, you can use your fingers. All you gotta do is take the sensor off. Now, if you want, you guys can get another sensor if they have it in stock. It doesn't hurt to have it if you want all of it to be new, but the old one should be just fine. And then you just mount it right back on top of the old one. And it's very easy, put it in finger tight again, snug it down, and then just do another churn. And now she's nice and tight. So now that's how we installed a crankcase filter. You saw what I did. We have to clean the area first. If you notice that before it was all dirty, cleaned it before. And then once it's removed, I cleaned it some more. And then I applied the part, make sure it's nice and snug. Once it's nice and snug, I just use my ratchet to apply a little bit more force to make sure it's secured. Put in the pipe against the block, up, plug into the block. And then the last thing is remove the sensor. Then you plug it in. Guys, it's that easy. The only issue that I would say is you might have a little finagling to do because there would be a frame right here and you may have some wires where you have to push in and then it goes down and that's it. That's how we put a crankcase filter on. That's how we could save you guys money, learning a little bit more about your truck and doing it yourself. All right guys, hopefully everything that was very helpful today. I just wanna remind you what we did was remove and replace a crankcase filter. Uh, if you guys like what you saw today, don't forget to smash that like button. If you want more content, please guys subscribe. And if you have any comments or questions about what you saw today, don't forget to leave me a comment at the bottom. See you guys at the next video.